I threw a blank. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I have a very, very special guest with me in this video. I'm very excited. This is my mom. Hello, Sophia's YouTube channel. <laughs> you guys have never seen her in a video before. I think you like briefly might have seen her in like a Vlogmas episode or something. But this is my mom. I promise I have an amazing relationship with her. It's not that I don't want her in videos. <laughs> She's my mom and sometimes, you know, she just doesn't want to be on camera, which I fully understand and respect. Yeah. But this video is all about me and her and how we make our team gifts and all of that kind of stuff because I could not do any of it without her. I went ahead and asked you guys on Instagram for any questions or anything that you guys might have had on how I make team gifts. Basically for beginners like 101, you want to start making, it doesn't even have to be team gifts. If you want to start making clothes, making anything really, basically how to start doing all of that. But before we get into the video, I have a very special surprise for my mom. I have a surprise for you, mommy. Okay guys, I'm popping in really quick. This is Sophia from the past before I filmed this video with my mom. I'm so excited because I'm gonna be giving her these pieces as a surprise. She has no idea. I'm giving her these jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa. They are seriously an amazing, fantastic gift to, for you to give to your mother, your friends, any women in your life. Give to yourself, anyone that you love, anybody that you know that really likes jewelry. I've worked with Ana Luisa in the past several times. You guys know I'm obsessed with them and they are the only jewelry that I wear like that's not just like my typical day-to-day -day jewelry. I absolutely am obsessed with them. Ana Luisa is having a super special Mother's Day sale. The sale is 15% off all products starting April 12th. Mother's Day has always been such an important holiday to me and my mom, obviously, because I have such a strong relationship with my mom. She is literally my best friend in the world. Obviously, we adore her and love her every single day of the year, but Mother's Day is really, really just all about her. And I feel like anytime you receive jewelry from somebody as a gift, it really just, it just hits different. You know what I mean? Like jewelry is just such an amazing a gift to give somebody. Anna Luisa's prices range from $39 to higher end quality pieces, so there really is something for absolutely everybody. They also really focus on not just the fair prices, but sustainable quality jewelry, eco-friendly, literally the whole nine. They're carbon neutral, exceptional quality. They literally last so long. Every single piece I've ever gotten from Anna Luisa has lasted me way beyond what I expected. I even have a special discount code for you guys to use if you want to get some money off on Anna Luisa, which like obviously we all have a good discount. Use my code Sophia Borges MD. I'll have it like floating on the screen. I'll have it in the description box. You know the drill. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. So do not forget to click on the link and check it out. The last day to guaranteed standard shipping before May 9th if you're in the US is May 5th. And if you are international, is Monday, May 3rd. So happy shopping, let's go. <laughs> now let's go back into the video and see her reaction. <laughs> So the surprise is an early Mother's Day gift. Oh, I have a little okay. surprise for okay. you. <laughs> you know the company that I work with a lot of time, Anna Luisa, the jewelry that they send yes. me sometimes. Beautiful. Well, I actually worked with them, and I'm working with them on this video, and they wanted me to give you some jewelry oh. for their Mother's Thank Day you, sale. Thank you, Anna Luisa. <laughs> <laughs> for their Mother's Day sale that's going on. So I have. Three pieces, three Ooh. jewelry pieces. Three, for not you. just three, one. Not wow. just one. Okay. There are three little bags here. They come in these super pretty bags. And the <laughs> oh, I see it. I, I see know, it. I know. I know. When I saw this, I started <laughs> cracking up. So, which one would you like to open first? Carry case. <laughs> I think that has just it has my name on it. <laughs> we didn't say this. My mom's name is Carrie. One of the necklaces, or um, I shouldn't. Oh, oh, oh! It's okay. One of the okay. items that she's getting. On the bag, it actually has her name <laughs> on it. I'm so excited! So here you go. Look at how pretty! Oh my god, that's so pretty! Can you see that? Yeah, I'll give them a little close up here. And I think that it's reversible. Look at the back of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know oh, that, yeah. that has you written all over it. Oh yeah, it. it does. It's got a little like black oh, pendant with totally the Oh, that's totally me. It's so you. They named it correctly. It's, it's so you. It's definitely me. <laughs> which one's next? That's the only one that had your name on the back. So oh, which one wow. would you like next? <laughs> Let's do this one. Okay. Nice bags. I know. I know. I love them. Love They're such them. good quality. <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. That's beautiful. That's Look at so that. Pretty. Stone is <gasps> kind of wrapped for protection, oh but and green is a color that you wear oh, often. I if yes, you ever do wear I a color. Do. I have to say, before anything, like these would look great together. They would. Like stacked, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're <gasps> so pretty. That is so pretty. Then the last one? The last one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's more than one in here. Yeah. Oh, these are so nice. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That is beautiful. Yeah. Me. Yeah, oh my are. gosh, I'm definitely wearing these All right of these together. pieces are oh also my goodness. you. I'm gonna wear, look at this. Oh, I love that right? one. Yes. I need to like put one on. I think you I should. I need to put one on. Okay. Here. We're gonna cut for a second so she can put it on. <laughs> Okay, we are back. Mama B has her beautiful, beautiful. stacked necklaces yes. on. So I will again have everything that she got linked in the description box along with my discount code. Remember that they're doing a special sale. Go check it out. Not kidding. Like, it's amazing stuff. Everyone should go buy their mom. One of these for Mother's it's, Day. It's a good present for Mother's yes. Day, right? It's so pretty. I love them like all. I can't wait to good, wear them. I, it's such a good, and I was just like telling them, I did like a little clip beforehand of like, they like had like the tea on like the fact that you were getting the like presents oh, okay. and stuff. So I was telling <laughs> Telling them that like any mom I feel like would love nothing more than getting jewelry like oh, for yeah. their kids for Oh Mother's yeah, Day, right? definitely. One hundred percent. Such, a good, such yeah. a good present. It was a great, great, great job. <laughs> so now we're going to get into the video, get into answering some of your questions on how we make all of our team gifts. I kind of went through and a lot of you guys had similar questions, so I kind of just summed up the most popular ones and we're gonna go through our ten most asked questions. First question, the basics. What material slash equipment should you get when just starting out? Well, um, I am no professional. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a hobby. Yeah. And I use the Cricut machine. Yeah. Um, I have two different ones. I have the Air, the Explore, and the Maker. And We started I, with the Explore, though, right? Yes. That was the first that one. That was the first one. I What I did was um, I wanted to start making some of the items especially yeah. for like cheerleading for the teams and uh, I used to purchase everything yeah. and I thought you know some of the items I thought yeah, if I learned how to do this like I we could, could just really, make it ourselves yeah. and I had the time yeah. so um I invested I, I looked up there's a few machines uh some people use the silhouette um I preferred the Cricut and that's what I purchased so that was the machine that I first started with and it served me well I yeah. still use it today and we only had that one machine that one for machine, a really long yes, time like yes. we didn't have anything else like we didn't have a heat press yet like we no. used an iron an like, iron yeah. i used the iron at the beginning <laughs> and that was like the only thing i had the cricket and i bought like the bundle so it came with the tools that were needed the mats yeah. all the basics and it came with a a variety of little um the weedle tool yeah, and yeah like all those starter like tools. Um, supplies if you will and that's what i used before then we were gonna try this whole like sewing idea but fun fact neither one of us can <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing. I, I'm terrible do. at it. I'm terrible the one at it. Thing. It's true. So probably, yeah, material equipment you should get when just yeah. starting out is 100% a Cricut machine. Like we couldn't do any of the stuff that we do no, without I that. Can't. For sure. Next question. So the type of Cricut or supplies needed to start making things. Our dog. Can you hear our dogs in the back? They have to make a cameo <laughs> every single they video. They do. Um, They're so cute. So basically, they were asking a lot of questions on like which exact type of Cricut or basic supplies needed to start m actually like making the thing. Things. Right. So I guess like things within the Cricut and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like I mean the Cricut, they have a bundle where it's like a starter bundle yeah. that cut, you can buy with the Cricut, each individual Cricut machine and it comes with all of the little tools that are needed yeah. as well as the mats. And like I said, some starter bundles of vinyls yeah. so you can see like heat press or the different types. There's metallic yeah. and all the different ones. And it comes with a little kind of starter bundle, which is actually great because that gives you a up close and personal kind of look at the different materials yeah I would say my yeah. biggest tip is if you have a like specific thing that you want to make look yeah. up what you need to make that thing right and then go from there because that's right. what we've done question number three where is the best places to order supplies from all uh, there's over. a lot yeah, yeah. all over <laughs> I'm an lot. equal opportunity shopper <laughs> I basically will go online and just search the uh, internet is your friend yeah. if I'm looking for a specific material I will search and I'll shop the cheapest as long as it's a good quality Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I've shopped at the different craft stores. Oh yeah, um, Amazon. My Amazon. Amazon. I'm an I'm a Amazon beast. Amazon. Uh, yes. <laughs> she's queen of Amazon. Okay. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, there's a box, and it's yeah. like, oh, what'd you get? She's like, I don't know. I know. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna need to find out. 
I just I just search yeah basically my like biggest tip for this is that don't like limit yourself to just one brand no. one thing like only buy like Cricut brand stuff like we've used yeah. vinyl from all over the yeah. place if there's some that I really like the quality yeah. I will try to search those up again right. and I'll remember next question where do you buy the clothing items mm. Yeah. Well, again, I am an equal opportunity shopper. Right. I buy from everywhere. I will um, begin with searching whatever we have planned for yeah. that season. And um, I'm a planner. Yeah. So we have I... our UCA gifts <laughs> planned out from yeah. like August. Yeah. Like... Yeah. And I will try to purchase way in advance. Yeah. Um, I kind of. She's the queen of Black Friday shopping. Yes, I do. Like... Black Friday, I will buy for the majority of the season on yeah. Black Friday. Friday and for all the teams that I have. To. Yeah, there's some wholesale um, places online. Yeah. Uh, Jiffy shirts yeah, and Jiffy shirts, um, on Canvas. Yeah, like. there's a ton. Um, any one of those. I also am known to go on to like Forever 21 and Old Navy. Yeah. And honestly, I search for the same thing I do with the supplies. I search for the item. If yeah. we're doing tank tops, if we're doing a hoodie, if we're doing a crop top, shorts. I search for what I need, what I'm looking for, and internet just kind of goes crazy. And yeah. I just go on and I search and I search until and usually I try to buy during sales. Yeah. You know, There's no so. like, we don't really have like one solid no. go to. There have been seasons where like, I'll think, oh, last season we did these, you know, joggers from Forever 21 yeah. that were great. So maybe let's do the same ones for this next oh, season, no. but then we'll go on they're one, no longer available, and B, we'll end up just searching for joggers and find them from a completely different company brand yeah. that we've never used before. Right. And we're just like, all right, well, let's just order one and see how it goes, you yeah. know? So basically just any clothing company that you typically shop at that you know is reliable, that you yeah. like, start there and then if it's too expensive then like search that exact style of thing yeah. in google and try to see if you can get like something of a cheaper price i mean i even bought um for glock we did the sherpas from paxa yeah on sale and i got them at such a great price that it was worth purchasing it yeah just yeah. have an open mind yeah open mind for sure next question we kind of talked about a little bit but how to keep costs down in general as far as the items um again just searching yeah. as many stores i think if you plan ahead and know that you're going to need certain items yeah take advantage of the sales and pre-purchase and what i do is i go online and i check the return date and for example if i know it's 60 days yeah. i will keep them and if i realize oh okay well i found it a better at a better price someplace else i can return them and purchase so that's kind of how i i keep that um down with the items yeah. supplies mostly it's the same thing do a lot of searching but also calculating what you need yeah i've been known to turn my big mats of vinyl into a big jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and now I'll put them on a huge mat and I peppered the entire thing and then I start cutting yeah. and I'll be like, it's just, I'm saving on yeah. keeping the cost down. So like if you so. have a Cricut machine and you're familiar with like making, you know, the stuff and you have a mat and you have like done, let's say you need to make 12, you know, shirts of the same design, right. instead of just putting like one, two, three, four, five. We'll like do that, but like scrunch it in really tight. I'll turn and it turn upside and down, sideways. This one will be this way. And I'm just fitting it as many in as I can. We literally have a drawer of all of our like leftover vinyl. Oh, that's yeah. just like scraps of stuff that we'll cut off and like save it because it oh, that's getting used. end up using yeah. it. Yeah, it's for sure. Used. Something that like a lot of people I don't think realize is that we're picky with the stuff that we get, but we're as picky as we can be within the sales. So like if yeah. there's a specific color of like like let's say for example we know every single season we're gonna do a hoodie or a sweatshirt of some sort right, right? for this year for example double o since we have like the different colors like the pink and the blue i knew for sure like oh a colored hoodie would be great we couldn't find right. a pink a pink or a blue one on no. sale so we ended up doing the yellow, yellow. one because it was on sale yeah. that was keep an open that mind was, that was you the know reason why. and we found the yellow and i thought hey yellow yeah like that's different you fun know. you know right next question what vinyl types do you use and how do you decide on on which vinyl to use. I think it really depends on the item. Yeah. Sports bras, I always use the like sports flex if we're yeah. putting vinyl on it. Just so that's super it important. A lot stretchy. of people don't know that. There is a stretchy vinyl. I didn't know it at the beginning. On <laughs> straight yeah, if you're if you're trying to put stuff on a sports bra, you can't yeah. just put normal vinyl on it because then when you put it on, it'll stretch and break. Yeah. So you want to get this it's the sport flex one? Sport flex. Yeah, yeah sport yeah. flex vinyl yeah. for like the more athletic, stretchy kind of yeah. stuff. A lot of the other stuff is kind of just just depends on like what you want, they yeah, have the flocked 
the look vinyl, is. vinyl, like if you want, so it just yeah. texture, you know, if you want metallic, Like for glitter. example, the double O hoodie that we wanted to do, we knew that we wanted to do flames inside the double O, but I had this like vision of, oh, yeah. metallic would kind of translate that design better. So that's yeah. kind of how we came up with that. But then a lot of it just depends on, sometimes we get bored. Yeah. And we just Honestly, to I went, um, the way I kind of learned about the different vinyl is from the craft store. I actually went yeah. because visually being able to see it, sometimes I'll, at the beginning I would be looking online and I'm like, mm, how does that really look in person? Yeah. So I jumped in the car, went over to the craft store and I- Let's see what they have see and then like looking at it you see all the different types and you can kind of learn a little bit that way and then yeah. it was easier to just order online afterwards because i already knew what i was looking for question number seven how do you get inspiration i was impressed by like how popular this question was but okay. just basically like how do you get inspiration i guess like i don't know the ideas and stuff that we get to make the gifts and stuff i think i'm spoiled in that um <laughs> top gun <laughs> loves their themes yeah and because they love their themes they make my life so much easier. so much easier truly because you know like um yeah. okay the theme you know double o with the school theme yeah, that was, was so, so easy fun. to come up with just great ideas yeah. based on that theme and the police theme last season and now this season with the miami, miami theme is great super, i mean there's so, so much you can do and yeah. same thing with like the other um teams like having a theme kind of gives you something to work on as opposed yeah. to being very generic yeah. and you don't know what to do other than the name, mm -hmm. you know? So when we have a theme, I just kind of go search on and stuff relating to that theme, yeah. really search anything that has to do with that theme and kind of get ideas. And I also pick apart the music mm -hmm. and kind of use that as a little bit of inspiration. Yeah. I think a lot of people this season specifically because the double O gifts have been so like colorful and bright yeah. and different. People right. have been like, oh my God, how did you come up with that? But it's literally because those colors that was great. are the theme. Thank like, you, Top Gun. Yeah, for, for, for real. <laughs> but like we wouldn't have done pink sports bras yeah. if that wasn't our team's color right you know this you know what i mean like because in my brain i've been wanting a pink sports bra forever but in my brain i'm always thinking oh pink lj, yeah, LJ you know yeah, what i mean right but this year because our main colors are pink and blue it's like okay i can do stuff with that yeah. now so the time process how long does it take you to do team gifts it really depends yeah you know <laughs> i like to take my time and yeah. i love to like pre-plan and mm. have everything but sometimes i will get thrown something very 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 last no minute. matter so. how much we try to be prepared months in advance inevitably it's always there's always something that has yeah. to get done last minute always, always. it doesn't matter what yeah. competition it is it doesn't matter what season it is oh every single competition there's something we run out of vinyl or we run out of this or yeah. that like something we don't so there's a malfunction yes. like something there's always something yeah. and this time we had uh, the hoodies the vinyl did not arrive in time. We had to change the whole design. I said last minute, I'm like, listen, let's improvise and come up with something else. Yep. Oh, it's supposed to arrive on this day. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Let's just use this other color. And it was a good thing because yeah. the vinyl was delayed. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, how long, there's no set time limit, no. but I would say give yourself as much time as possible. Yes. Like at least a month. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're starting out, you know, yeah. you can- Leave room for mistakes. Yes. Because there will be. Yes. mistakes and there's this vinyl remover that you should <gasps> totally get <laughs> oh my gosh because i do forget to remove some stuff sometimes there it just is happens. vinyl remover there that is a thing yes. you should death i 10 out of 10 recommend that one because that has <laughs> saved us many a times yes. what team gifts can i do for my team without high-tech machines so i'm gonna assume that you mean like if you don't have a cricket machine like that's what i'm assuming that they're oh, talking about I would, here. I would just say probably bag tags. Yeah. I mean, I actually do bag tags um, and I've been doing them for a long time for them. Video coming soon. And um, I just design them online and um, print them up. If you have a printer, I just print them and cut them manually. You don't even need to cut them on the Cricut yeah. and um, I'll laminate them. Mm -hmm. You know, so each one is different and you could put whatever you want. I put, you know, song lyrics and yeah. I, I personalize them with everybody's name. And I actually use them not as a bag tag. I actually use it as a gift tag. Yes. So they get them for every single gift. Again, people are like, oh, a bag tag. I'm like, well, it's it's a gift tag yeah. that is a bag tag. So they can put them on their bag. And like, that's one uh, of the things that one of my most asked yeah, questions everybody, everybody is about the bag them. tags. Because they are like technically like tags 
bags, you know, for a bag, yeah. everybody immediately puts them all over their backpacks yeah. because you love to represent your team that you're on yeah. and stuff. And when yes. you're walking, you know, competitions or whatever, yeah. that's one of the things that it's yeah. such a little thing that is not yeah. super expensive, no. but is one of the, I think, things that people get the most excited about. I think what takes the longest is designing it. Like, yeah, yeah I mean, it, you can make it as simple, mm -hmm. you know, you'll put your team logo and mm -hmm. person's name and call it a day, yeah. or you can get a little craftier, which is what I do at this point. Yeah. But the software that we use to design the stuff is Cricut, but you can also I use, use it on the Cricut, but yeah. you, I, I use like Adobe Illustrator yeah. and that kind of stuff. So really just whatever is at your yeah. disposal. All right, last question. Things you think are useful to use or like over the years, what have we learned have been like the most, most useful, useful things that, yeah. The Cricut, love my Cricut. Have to get the Cricut uh -huh. machine. 100%. A heat press. Yes. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive, but I mean, if you're doing small items, you could use your iron, but the heat press was life changing yes. for me. <laughs> Definitely that change made everything so much easier. So much. Um, laminating machine, so cheap, less like 20 than 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah. At, you can yeah. get on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. That's great for the bag tags. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, a cutter. I would definitely get a really good yeah. um, vinyl cutter. Long, because some of the vinyl sheets are like longer than just the 12. Four or something. Yeah. Else, right. Yeah. So get as, as big one that you can. And then I, I think for sure that vinyl remover. The vinyl <laughs> remover. Yes, definitely. Life I'm using it right now as we speak. I got a lot of questions about rhinestones, which if you guys like this video, comment down below if you want more detailed explanations on like other things. Like I know a bag tag video is definitely recommended. I had a lot of questions on rhinestones, but we are still fairly new to the rhinestoning. Oh, yeah. So I need a video <laughs> that explains to me about rhinestones. So like we're still learning. Oh. And before I, yeah. before I wanted to like make a whole video on rhinestoning, I wanted to get at least a little bit more experience with them but if yeah. you guys like this video we can definitely do like another one further talking and you know discussing the rhinestones like all that kind of stuff and all yeah. those questions that you guys might have alrighty and that is pretty much it for this video for our making team gifts 101 I really wanted to try to stay as basic as possible for somebody who's like just starting out maybe you just made a cheer team and you're like oh my god I want to make team gifts you found like one of my random videos so we really wanted to keep it as basic as possible to help you guys out as much as we can because we get so many questions <laughs> <laughs> about all yeah. of it so I hope that this you know really helped out if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments I'll try to answer as many as I can and we can definitely do a part two let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see and I hope that you and guys enjoyed first video with Mama Borges the legend herself she is alive and well she is here <laughs> and I exist. could not do this she exists and we could not do the team gifts without her. Super big thank you once again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and for working with me. I know that my mom absolutely loves the pieces. Every, she, every mom deserves an Anna Luisa piece. Every mom Go should get one. the carry. Oh the, yes. Because the, the carry, that's the one for sure. I, once again, we'll have my discount and link down below. Don't forget to click the link if you want to check it out. 15% off. Use my discount. It's like floating around up here yeah. somewhere. Discounts are good. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.